welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my March update for Project Polish. I missed doing this last year but I kind of shot myself in the foot for this year by adding polishes into random projects from last year especially the ones that carried over into this year. So I don't have nearly as much progress as I would like to have on my polishes this year because I'm still working on stuff from last year. So let's get into this. I'm going to show you the ones that I did not use in the past month since the last update. It's okay. That is okay. Um, there's, there's not many. There's only three. First one is Canary from Nina. And I am still at this lower line right here. Lilac from Elf. And I am at this red line right there. These are like Easter, spring Easter colors for me. So those are going to start getting a lot of usage as it starts to warm up and gets closer to Easter. And this red, it is Cherries in the Snow from Revlon. I am right here at this bottom line. And the reason I haven't touched this one is because I was trying to finish another red in a different project. It was more of a warm red where this is like a cool toned red. And I did finish that red. So now when I feel like reaching for a red, I'm going to probably reach for this after the one that is in another project is done. Um, I really want to get that one done first so it is done and out of my collection. All right, those are the only three that I did not touch at all in the last month. Um, I have a, a bunch here that I have used, but there is not enough progress to make any kind of a new line. And um, so let's get into that one. This is the Sally Hansen Be Long. It is a base coat. Yes, I should be using my base coats more. I didn't, and I, I should. I really should. I change my polish usually every two days. Randomly, sometimes it'll go three days if I have a polish that's like staying really well and those are usually my glitter polishes and um yeah I really need to use the base coats more but I'm usually in such a hurry that base and top coats just not a thing right now in my life um speaking of top coats I did use this one once or twice this is the INM out the door in northern lights I've had this for so long that um it's starting to get worn off um I am just below this red line I love this stuff. It is amazing. And um, like I want to use it and I don't at the same time because for a long time I couldn't find anyone that carried it. Now I know Sally's carries it so I can replace it. But um, trying not to buy a whole lot right now. So, you know, it's that conundrum. Do I use it? Do I not use it? And I have used it some. I will say that. Um, this is a gold striping polish from Avon. I've had this forever and a day. I am just below the bottom red line and um, I don't use it enough, but um, I did use it a little bit and you know, it is what it is. Um, this one that I thought was going to be my focus for the past month, I used this once and I am just below that gold. Of course, the, the gold kind of swoops down, so that's partially why I wasn't able to make a new line, but um, I did use that once, once. And the Wet n Wild in, um, what is this? Formidable. Uh, I'm, I use this a couple times, but it is so thin and sheer that you don't need a whole lot. I am just below that red line. That is going to get a lot more usage for St. Patrick's Day. And it is going to, um, and I'm filming this early, so I think this actually goes up on St. Patrick's Day, which, you know, I don't have my green on yet because in my world, it's not St. Patrick's Day yet. But that will start to get a lot more use. That's like a spring summer color for me and a St. Patrick's Day color. So it's gonna, it's about to get some use. And this purple shade from Victoria's Secret called Purple Rain. Um, I am just below the gold line now. That only got one usage, and I think it was just accent nails that I did with that. So not a ton. This next one I have used quite a bit, but the line is actually um, below the level of the product because I frankened it. You've seen this probably in other projects. This is my base top coat, which no longer is a base or a top coat. I added some red, I've added some pink and purple, I've added glitters. It's such a pretty color now, but it is above that line. And um, I'm just, I'm gonna in just enjoy it. And when it gets done, it gets done. It is a lot thicker now but I do really like it a whole lot and this is the glitter that I put into it 
I really like that one a whole lot. I have a feeling this is going to um, get put in some other polishes throughout the year, you know, because I like to play. All right, now the ones that I actually do have a line on, I would say the one that I used, actually two that I used the most, this is the um, P2 Volume Gloss from, or in the color Old Maid, not from, it's P2, that's where it's from. I was at red and now I'm at the gold. It is getting to the point where it's hard to use. And I don't know if you can see on this side how it kind of tilts down a little bit. And um, it's getting really hard to use. I have to kind of keep it on its side in order to get enough polish out of it. If I truly focus on this in the next month, I could get it done theoretically. But I have several polishes in another project that only go until April 15th um, for 50, 50 Shades of Pink. And I really wanna do as much as I can with those polishes before that project ends. So I think the usage for the next month is going to be sporadic, much like it has been for the first two months. And um, I'm just, I'm just gonna use them as I feel like I want to use them in conjunction with those other polishes. And then when those other polishes are done or that project is done, I'm gonna go ham because, you know, that's just, that's how I roll. I got a lot of spring colors that I wanna play with soon. Revlon Streetwear in Chilling. Um, I went from red to gold. I really like that one. It's a great toe color and it's gonna look even better once I have some, some sun and some color on my skin. Um, this is the Kiss Gel Strong Nail Polish in Pistachio. I was at red, now I'm at gold. Thimbleberry, I actually used more than I thought I was going to. And um, this is works really well with one of the other polishes that I'm working on. Um, I just, I kind of like this as an accent nail where I do all of these and then use the other one as an accent nail. You can see where I went from red to red. And um, yeah, a little bit of progress there. Slight progress on, what is this one? Icy Fairy from Essence. They kind of look smooshed together, but there's actually two lines there. I probably should have used a different color. I don't know if that the line difference is gonna even show up. I like this, it is a super chunky glitter, but um, I feel like if I used the sponge, used a sponge to put it on and got rid of like the base to it, I could go through this quickly, but um, I'm not at that point right now. I don't have a peel off base coat and I just, I'm not in a point in my life where I feel like I can just sit and soak glitter off of my nails. So I just do like a little swipe just to give it a little, you know, pizzazz and then I'll, I'll move on. This one I absolutely love and it's getting wider. This is Sunflash from Revlon and you can see my two lines right there. This is going to get a ton of use. Like to me, I would prefer to use something like this as a top coat than like an actual clear top coat because I just love glitter and I feel like my polishes wear a lot better when I have a glitter topper on them. I don't know if anyone else has that, but that seems to be how it works in my world. So I am not going to pick a focus polish for the next month just because I'm not really going to be focusing for the next month on these polishes, except for, like I said, the ones that are in the other project. Um, once I get through those, and there's two specific ones that I really want to get through, then then I can go ham on this. So I'm not expecting a super great update for the, you know, next month, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I'm working on right now. My my color swatches. Yeah, I know I don't have a wheel because um, it just it's never enough for a wheel. It would go all the way around. So yeah, that is my color story that I am working on right now in conjunction with these two main polishes that are on their side because um, yeah, that's how close they are getting to being done. And I guess that is everything for this update. Super not exciting. I know, I apologize for that, but hopefully in the near future, I will start to have some more empties because you know, I wanna be able to roll some new stuff in because I like to do my nails. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.